So we have a company producing unusual CDs and the variable cost is $15 per CD. The fixed cost is $20,000 and fixed cost means this fix is not changing and you have to pay that much. So we have first the cost function we're gonna do. So we have C, now it's a function of X. Let's see, X is the number of CDs. So it's C of X equals we have to uh, pay $15 per CD. So it's 15 times X, because if you make one CD, you pay 15. If you make two CDs, you pay two times 15, which is 30. Three CDs, 45, etc. So that's the 15 times the number of CDs. Also, we have to pay the fixed cost, which is 20,000. And this has no X attached to it because you just pay it no matter how many CDs you create. So that takes care of the cost function. We just did that. Now we're gonna do the revenue. The revenue is R, and it's a revenue of X CDs. Now we need to read some more. The CDs will sell for $94 each. Those must be very unusual and valuable CDs. $94 each. So just like the cost, we have 94 times X. So if we sell one CD, we make 94, two CDs, two times 94, whatever that is, 188 ish, um, three CDs, three times 94, etc., etc. So that takes care of the revenue function. Now we have profit and profit is always cost. Oops. So the way around revenue minus cost And we have our revenue 94x minus, now the cost function is has two parts, 15x plus 20,000. We can simplify this down. 94 minus 15 is 8079, hopefully, 79x. And minus that negative sign distributes to both of those. So it's minus 20,000. All right, so that's profit. And it takes care of this last one right there. And now we want to uh, break even. So how do we break even? When you make no money or when the profit is equal to zero. So there is no profit or a zero dollar profit. So we're setting this equal to zero. Oops. Here we go. 79x minus 20,000 equals zero. So we want to solve for x, get rid of all of x's friends. So we're going to add 20,000 both sides. Almost done, last step, divide by 79. And that will be how many CDs you have to produce to break even. Now we'll go ahead and uncover these answers. So we got 15X plus 2, uh, 20,000, we got that. 94 times X is the revenue. They left the answer as the two subtracted, which is fine. It looks like they distributed their negative sign of the 15x and the 20,000. Now the break even, they put as a decimal, but that 253 should be this number turned into a decimal.